Finished up Del Hollow in second. You know, it was a great week. My second tournament I've ever fished here. The first one was in high school, fishing the BFL level. So a lot has, a lot has changed since then. Live scopes really opened up this fishery, exposed it for how good it is. And that's what I was doing this week. I was just focusing on the areas that had the most bait fish and the biggest concentrations. And that was uh, like a bend of the river channel, the old river channel, and one pocket. And anywhere where you had that big major concentration of bait, there was a big concentration of fish also. And that's what I was doing, just rolling around looking for catching some singles. But anytime you could find a school, that really seemed to be the ticket. You could catch one, maybe two out of them, and you just have to keep rolling. But it worked out great this week. Um, you know, today especially, I caught most of my fish on a 3 8 ounce head and the Covert 7.6 medium is was the rod i was using and i like that rod because it lets you throw this heavier bait and it also lets you throw it away from your boat a good distance when these fish have gotten a lot of pressure the further you can throw the better off you are 3000 size reel 10 pound sunline overwatch to a 12 pound sunline shooter leader and anywhere from an 8 to a 3 8 head with a sensation slim minnow and smelt most of the time and that's really was my game plan here same thing as it was at lay lake for red crest I think we're about towards the end of the scoping season finally so we'll see what the next one holds talk to me a little bit about the bait and why that bait's so good it's right here behind us uh, some of the features of the bait i mean you can talk about the jk why you choose that one okay so i like a light wire hook when i'm scoping and this has a gamagatsu it's the big bite swimmer head uh this is a 3 16 ounce right here in my hand and i like a bait that's got flat sides on it because when you're fishing it you want to twitch your rod tip and these flat sides allow it to flip back and forth a little better than say a round bait or anything like that so that's the number one key to me with the slim minnow but the sensation formula also i think the scent matters when you get around a lot of pressured fish and you're getting a lot of them to chase it i think if you've got some scent you get a few of those that are chasing it they turn into biters